On a day when you do a skydive, you have to show up early so that you can check out the winds, make sure that everything is in parameters and everything looks good for the day. Once you know that everything looks good, you suit up. You wanna make sure that you don't have anything on you that can flap around because when you're falling that fast, even a loose strap can whack you really hard. So with that, you actually put a little helmet on that makes your head a little bit more aerodynamic so that your hair doesn't hit you either and these glasses that deflect the wind from your face so that you can keep your eyes open as you're falling. And then it's time to board the plane. You load up on the plane with everybody else that's skydiving for the day and you check each other out. You check each other's harnesses to make sure that you are completely harnessed in. There is no room for error. This is exactly one of those activities where you want to double check yourself and then have somebody else also check you so you know you're good to go. The plane takes off and after that, you're climbing, it's time to go. They throw some streamers out of the plane to make sure that the winds are still doing exactly what they expect them to do so you don't have any surprises. And then on military aircraft, a C-130, the back door, the entire back of the aircraft opens and falls out. So you actually just walk off of the back of the plane. It would be like walking off of a stage, except for instead of a four foot fall, it's a 10,000 foot fall. As you're getting ready to touch down on the ground, you wanna make sure that you're in the right position because it's actually pretty dangerous as you land that if you do it wrong, you could break an ankle or even break a leg relatively easily. And so you wanna make sure that you're in a nice neutral position with your legs bent so that you can almost walk on the ground as soon as you land and make it a very light landing. You also use your harness to pull up really hard right as you're about to land, which stops you from falling as quickly just as you're about to hit the ground and make it kind of a pillow soft landing, as long as you do it right. Once you're on the ground, you have to disconnect yourself from your parachute and bundle everything up and then you walk away.